All right, guys, so I come across this movie on YouTube, and this is a movie I used to watch a lot as a child. I used to rent it from the video store that was up the road on VHS. It was like $3.50 for a weekly rental. So you'd rent it out for a week and it was $3.50. And I used to watch this video like all the time. And what I mean by skateboarding video, this is like a skateboarding Hollywood movie. Like it's a Hollywood production movie, believe it or not. This isn't like a skate part or a skate video. Like this is a legit Hollywood cinema movie. I don't know if it was in the cinemas, but it was like a big production. I wanted to share with you guys this sick movie because uh, maybe some of you guys have seen it. Maybe you guys haven't, but it's worth a watch. So yeah, let's get into it. The intro is super sick. Look at all these boards. Look at the shape and then look at the wheel size. Check out all the Thrasher banners in the background. Product placement. There's a gang of there's a gang of local skaters and um, they're like the the bullies. They're like the the bad guys in the movie, I guess. And there's one. He's like the ringleader. He has a long ponytail. There he is. That's real. That's him. They get up to mischief. So they find this guy in a chicken suit and the sheriff's conveniently sitting there in his patrol car and uh, they mess with him a bit. They tie a bit of wire that's connected to this big wooden thing. That's it. That's the gang leader there with the ponytail. As you can see the sheriff takes chase but uh, yeah he gets rolled on by that big wooden thing. Now I'm pretty sure this next bit is filmed in Santa Monica or Venice. One of the two, it's where the slappy curbs are that you guys would have all seen. But uh, this montage growing up, like when I was a kid, like this is what hyped me up the most to go skate. Like when I'd go skate and like do a few kick turns in the local bowl, this song was stuck on my head, but yeah, check it out. It's a sick skate montage. It's just a ton of shots from underneath. There's planes flying over, there's people ollieing, there's boards going through the screen. If only there was a way for me to recreate this montage, how sick would that be? So this is the main character, Zach, and um, it's gonna be great. You know, I guess his dad, life, they air. move from somewhere in LA into like some rural town in California. Zach sets out on his board to go explore the neighborhood, comes across the skateboard bully gang, and he's, uh, these teenagers are bullying this little girl, stolen a BMX bike and aren't giving it back. So luckily Zach comes to the rescue as a sick Ollie. I love how fake that push was. Sorry, man. Cool, bowling my knees in. Yeah, no, duh. 180 bucks will keep your diseased mitts off. He's actually wearing a Grind King t-shirt. Torn husking self out of this neighborhood. This is mag territory. So stay. So he's pretty much told him locals only. Uh, I think uh, we're about ready oh, over here. Yeah. So uh, if you want to get one more rehearsal, Absolutely. just take your mark right over Zach's here. Zach's dad is like a news anchor or something, or he, sh I don't know, he works at a news station. I all probably remember my great granddad. He's up to some more mischief with this bully. Once committed armed robbery Ready? this year counts. Pushes him over, knocks over the whole TV set. Who is responsible for this damn mess? Him, dad. No way. Blames it on Zach. You get this delinquent off my property. This movie's so corny, but it, it's so good. Trips and he snaps his deck. Ready? Cue sad music. He's all bummed out. His, his skateboard just got snapped. If you look close enough, his board actually has the bridge bolts. It's like one piece. It's like two bolts that go in. There's a piece on the top. Look at the shape of that board and look at the size of the wheels. And look at his look at his his attire. It's sick. It's like 90s style. This woman owns a thrift shop, and uh, 
I think she finds him like an old board from like the, the 70s or something. And the trucks run backwards, if you guys can see real quick. Look, zoom in. Trucks run backwards. Anyway, she hooks up Zach with this board. Ends up taking it home and like going to the shed and putting in work on it. Finds his old man's whippersnipper, connects it to the board, makes a whippersnipper snake board, skateboard snake board. And then he puts an RC car front on the front of the skateboard. Another Thrasher banner in the background. I wanted to do this to my skateboard so bad when I was a child, but clearly it wouldn't work. Anyway, there's a lightning storm, and I'm pretty sure the board gets, like, struck by lightning, and it comes to life. There you go. So the next day, they hit the streets. He's out shredding on his new whippersnipper skateboard, and he runs into those bullies again. I believe the skateboard's name is Rip. Blows past all these bullies. Let's go check out Barney with the corn huskers here. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I wonder where this was set, like where they set that factory up for the ramps and stuff. So they start bullying Zach and uh it's your turn to attack. The board comes to the rescue. This is bringing back so much nostalgia. I don't get why he's wearing school shoes and skating. It doesn't make any sense. There's just a lot of chase scenes in this movie. This chicken suit guy gets picked on again. He falls over and it turns into a kicker. Like, you know, you can't write this stuff, guys. I think this is where they start bonding together. Like Zach starts bonding with the board, and they uh, there's a sick montage. He skates a pool. They go and play some baseball together. It's, it's pretty unbelievable, guys. I know, but it's a sick movie. So make sure you, after you watch this video, you go and watch this movie. That's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. If you guys have seen this movie, drop me a comment down below. If not, make sure you head on over and watch it right now. Just type in the skateboard kid. They did do a sequel, but it wasn't as good. Like this is the OG skateboard kid. Even the VHS cover is dope. Like I wish I had the poster to hang in my room. But yeah, that's all I got for you today, guys. Hopefully you don't mind this different style of content. If you are new here, make sure you do subscribe. And if you've been here, cheers for the support. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Like you